Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's talk about the future of the app market, both in terms of theory and actuality. Okay, so last week I did my annual app revenue report. So I shared how much money I made from my applications in 2020. And I was really hesitant to do it because 2020 was not a great year for me. I mean, I made more in 2018, 2019, and 2020, not because of the app market itself, but I just sort of slacked off a little bit and my revenue went down. So, but I shared it anyway, because like I said, I can't just share the good times, I'll share the bad times too. And a lot of you guys posted really good comments. Some of you guys made a lot more money than I did and you're doing really well there. And some of you guys are still not quite there yet and you, you made a lot less but you shared it too and I really appreciate that. And one person even thought I was lying. Like he said, I think you're lying. I said, what would my motivation be for lying to say that I'm making a lot less money? But anyway, it was really good. If you guys go, go back and read the comments, uh, you know, that's great, right? Because we've been hearing all the time how apps are dying, right? I had this on the live stream uh, this past week. Um, do you think apps are dying? Tech lead says apps are dead. And when I start seeing evidence of it, then I will agree that apps are dead. But people are still making money on the app markets. And I, I appreciate everybody sharing what they've done because we could talk about academic, we could talk about theory all day long, right? But when somebody tells you, oh, um, you know, this ad network is better than the others, but they haven't done it themselves, then they're just talking theory. They're talking about something they've read, right? And we could all read things, but it's the experiences that we have and it's the experiences that we share that help us improve, right? I mean, everybody's talking about things. I have, for years, I've heard the same things, you know, uh, apps are dead. In fact, I had, a, I had a meeting with a client a couple years ago. Uh, they were a prospect. I didn't work with them because I'll tell you why. So, so I had this meeting with a prospect. It was like I met with a, a two people who had left this big corporation and they decided to go out and create a consultancy company and they wanted to do an app. So I met with one of them. She was nice. And then she said, I want you to meet my business partner. And he came in and he was just sort of like, I could see why he wanted to be a consultant. He was just starting out. He was so full of himself and he was just like, so uh, Eric, I hate to tell you this, but uh, I've heard that apps are dying. And I said, yeah, because there's a new thing. It's called uh, progressive web apps. And I said, yes, I know all about them. And he goes, yeah, apparently those are taking over. So uh, I'm sorry to be the, the harbinger of bad news. And I was like, you know, first of all, he, he was like just he's just he's a talker right the, the world is full of talkers and I appreciate that all you guys who shared your revenue that you're actually doers you're actually someone who goes out and does things and put things out there uh, but I've been hearing that for ages apps are dying PWAs are taking over yet I have not seen a big mainstream PWA that a company has decided hey we're just gonna skip the app store altogether let's go straight to PWA and when somebody does say what about this one what about this one and I go back and look at it, it's like they still have apps on the App Store too. So they're still not leaving that particularly, even though for years we've been saying that. So again, it's theory over actual. So I appreciate everybody who did that. Now I wanted to share with you this comment. This is the whole reason I made the video, which is, you know, taking a while to get here. Uh, this one comes from Christopher Anuigbo. Uh, he commented on his app revenue. He says, hey Eric, I just wanted to share I started watching your videos like three years ago and joining your weekly Friday meetups. They're on Mondays now. Uh, last year I made over $50,000 in sale and this month I'm set to make more than my app, uh, more from my app than my job salary, which is six figures. Dude, that is awesome. That is really, really cool. I love the fact that you said you started watching the videos three years ago as if that was a reason you did well, right? There's. I will share with you anything I know on this channel, anything I learn as we go, anything that works for me or doesn't work for me, I'm happy to share that with you guys. But this, Christopher, was all on him. The reason he's done well is because he's the type of person who has the enthusiasm to charge forward. He has the kind of enthusiasm that he will watch videos about app development. He's like, you know, when you're so enthusiastic about something, when you're fully 100%, you're all in, you'll watch every video, read every book, start, you know, you're just, you're just thinking about it constantly. And it's not that, I don't think Christopher did well with apps because he watches his channel. I think 
he did well with apps because he's the kind of person who would watch a channel like this, right? And, and I think that go, the same goes for a lot of you guys, right? It goes back to that you are the reflection of the people you surround yourself with. And if you're just out there dealing with the talkers who haven't done anything, who are talking about theory all the time, then you're, you know, then you'll never get anywhere. But if you're around people who are actually experimenting, trying new things, um, then you will. I know, I know, I know I am totally rambling off on this video today, but I think about it a lot. I really appreciate you guys who are doing things and you're sharing stuff with me uh, and you're sharing stuff with each other. And we have this community for those guys who show up on the live streams every well, Monday nights now, uh, just to, you know, and, and you share what you know and what you've been trying and what's worked for you. I think it makes us all better because otherwise we just talk about theory. We can just talk about theory and what should work, but what actually works. Anyway, wow, what a ramble. Hey, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again next time.